What's up y'all welcome back to the channel so I wanted to bring you guys this video because I was scouring through Google looking up some gaming information on the PS5 the new Avengers game that's coming out how Spider-Man is going to be in that game how they released some Hawkeye footage I was looking at some PS5 news um a lot of things about that that I that I found this interesting but the most interesting thing that I found interesting was an article that I found on Blizzard Studios. And if you don't know who Blizzard Studios is, it's, the, it's one of the biggest gaming companies on the planet. They've made World of Warcraft um, amongst other famous games. And here in the article you can see that it says Blizzard employees share salaries with each other to protest wage disparities. Now, I just skimmed through the article before I brought you guys the video, and we're going to read through this. And it, before we read it, um, I did a video yesterday on the Captain Marvel actress, and I had a lot of comments in my comments section um, that I didn't expect to have. You know, first of all, I am entitled to my opinion, whether the source is a reputable source or not. There is there have been a lot of problems with her and co-stars and other people in Hollywood that doesn't think she's deserving of what she wants. Just because the articles may not be reputable doesn't mean that there aren't problems with Brie Larson. Brie Larson, in my opinion, is an entitled brat that thinks she's owed everything just because of who she is and the character she's played. And I don't care for Brie Larson. So, if you have nothing nice to say, and I will say this in the most polite way as possible, don't say anything at all. Keep the negativity off of my channel. Keep your opinions that are negative about what I say off of the channel. We don't need that over here, okay? So, let's look into this. Like I just read the title, Blizzard, uh, Blizzard Studios... Employees aren't happy with the the salaries that they've been giving. Okay, I read through it, and it, it makes a lot of key points. This is a $150 billion gaming entertainment corporation. $150 billion. Okay, so let's just start this. Employees at Bl Blizzard Entertainment, a division of... Activision Blizzard Inc. began circulating spreadsheets on Friday to anonymous, anonymously share salaries and recent pay increases. The latest example of rising tension in the video game industry over wage disparities and executive compensation. Now, big companies like this, movies, uh, gaming companies, politics, we all know there's a bunch of them that embezzle. Okay, we all know that, that there's a bunch of them that knows the people that deal with wages and, and pay and you know they have a little little more than they should put in, put into their paycheck every month or every every other month or however these people get paid okay if you're getting paid 40 million a year i wouldn't ima i can't imagine you making uh what 500,000 a week i'm not good at math i'm sorry but i'm just saying Blizzard based in Irvine, California makes popular games including Diablo and World of Warcraft. In 2009, after an inter internal survey revealed that more than half of Blizzard workers were unhappy with their compensation, the company told staff it would perform a study to ensure fair pay. According to people familiar with the situation, Blizzard implemented the results of the study last month which led to an outcry on the company's internal Slack messages board. One employee then created a spreadsheet to encourage staff to share their compensation information. The anonymous document revived by Bloomberg News contained dozens of pur 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 purported Blizzard salaries and pay bumps. Most of the raises are below 10%, significantly less than Blizzard employees said they expected following the study. And I quote, our goal has always been to ensure we compensate our employees fairly and come. Yeah, no, 
No, that is not what you ensure. You ensure that you make money and keep making money. You don't care about your employees. You just care about the product and how the product makes you money. Acti uh, Activision Blizzard spokeswoman Jessica Tyler said, we are constantly reviewing compensation philosophies to better recognize the talent of our highest performers and keep us competitive in the industry, all with the aim of rewarding and investing more in top employees. This year, Blizzard top performers received a salary increase that was 20% more than, more than in prior years, and, most, and more people got promotions, Tyler added. Overall, our overall salary investment is constant with prior years, she also said. Wage disparity has become a hot button issue in the $150 billion video game industry is called <laughs> and, uh, $150 billion. Can you imagine? having a hundred and fifty billion dollars across all of your bank accounts what would you do with a hundred and fifty billion dollars billion okay where am i a pro labor group recently slammed activision blizzard for the pay of chief executive officer bob kotick his 2019 compensation was worth four Forty million dollars at the end of the year, according to the data comp compiled by Bloomberg, and the package has sent, has grown. What? He got a hundred and forty million. Nah, what am I saying? A hundred. What am I saying again? Forty million dollars for doing chief executive officer. Okay, CEO. Uh, Last year, the company also paid $15 million in stock awards and signed on bonuses to the incoming chief financial officer, Dennis Durkin. First of all, what kind of... I'm not going to make fun of nobody's names. $15 million in sign-on bonuses and stock awards. In the anonymous, anonymous spreadsheet, one employee listed the CEO's annual salary, bonus, and stock awards. In international, internal messages reviewed by Bloomberg News, Blizzard employees said they, are, they were struggling to make ends meet while watching Activision Blizzard uh, revenue grow year after year. So, wow, some producers and engineers at Blizzard can make oh, well over $100,000 a year, but others such as video game testers and customer service representatives, wow, are often paid minimum wage or close to it. Wow. Wow. I mean, realistically speaking, right? If, you know, it's, 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 hard, to, it's hard to really really defend that 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 sentence there because anywhere you go customer service representatives or any testers of any well that's not true because sometimes wine testers make 40 an hour you know people that test alcohol and wines and perfumes and all of this make 40 an hour so these these are people right that basically help run your company so customer service representatives are there for when customers like myself or you have issues with a certain game or a certain um, glitch or whatever. And they're there to help you walk through the technological issues that you are having. And then the video game testers are the ones that test the games before the games are even on the shelves to make sure everything is up to code. No glitches. No, 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 no missing storylines, no bugs, no jitters, you know, all of that stuff that comes with video games. And sometimes I'm just like, what the hell are these video game testers doing? Because we still get bugs. And sometimes it may be the system. Okay. Sometimes the bugs may show themselves after the game has already been released. But the, you, you have these people making less than minimum wage or are making minimum wage. And what's the minimum wage in California? 
Okay, because this is based in California. Um, minimum wage. Let's see what their minimum wage is. 13 per hour. California amongst New Jersey and New York are some of the most expensive states that you can live in. And a multi-billion dollar gaming entertainment company worth $150 billion, may I add, you have the CEO making $40 million a year. You had the CFO that signed on with salary bonuses, um, sign-on bonuses, and, and, and um, stock awards. Making, he's making $15 million a year. But you have the people that actually help the game perform to its utmost, making minimum wage. Wow, Blizzard. Wow, I, I have no respect for y'all after this. Wow, Blizzard Entertainment has traditionally remained anonymous from its parent company, but in recent years, Activision corporate office has pushed the game development studio to cut costs. Last year, the company eliminated hundreds of jobs and asked some of the remaining staff to take on responsibilities of those who were let go. That extra work did not come with more pay. According to the people... Familiar with the company who asked not to be identified and discuss sensitive private uh, information. Wow. One veteran, one veteran Blizzard employee told Bloomberg News they received a raise of less than 50 cents an hour. You let go of... I will never... And it's greed. It's nothing more than greed. I will never understand these these giant conglomerates, Amazon, Google, and I and I and I haven't really. You don't really hear bad things about Google financially because they're the one one of the biggest search engines on the planet, along with YouTube. Um, you have Yahoo, AOL. You have these giant corporations that make billions upon billions of dollars. And you're paying your, your workers, or most of your workers, crap. This is complete crap. Really, Blizzard? Less than 50 cents an hour? Less than 50 cents? Okay. Understandably, the CEO of the company, the person that runs and owns the company, makes $40 million a year. They're the CEO of the company. $40 million. I don't think the C CFO should be making the chief financial officer, who is the one in charge of finances, should be making $15 million a year. You're... Yeah. I don't... I, okay, $5 million, $6 million, $7 million because you're in charge of finances on a worldwide level. But $15, almost $20 million. That's... 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 That's uh 25 million less than what the to, than what the freaking CEO is making. I like so how much are each of these executives making to where they gotta let go of most of their staff because they can't even afford to keep the staff. You know, it's just it's it's like I hate reading stuff like this, and especially with stuff that's going on now. You're still selling video games. You still have people downloading video games, spending money on the game, spending money on expansion packs, spending money on extra uh, skins and stuff to that nature. And you're going to still let go because you have to cut costs. OK, Disney, I kind of understand they start they, they, they have to cut cut off some of their staff because the parks are closed. The park is what brings in most of the revenue for Disney. They're losing Millions of dollars a day that the parks are closed because they have to keep the parks They have to upkeep the parks even with the parks being closed Understandable, but you're a gaming company and you still have people out here buying the games because you can do it digitally You don't have to go out and fit, buy physical copies and you're still letting go hundreds of staff And then the staff that you do give the work the extra work to That the, that that the 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 ex staff had you're gonna give them a 15th of less than a 50 cent raise per day? You gotta be kidding me.
You have got to be kidding me. See me, my I, I want to open my own uh, j chain of gems at, when I get um, established enough to be able to open my own chain of gems. You will never hear me doing some crap like this. You will never hear of me doing some crap like this. You guys let me know what you think of this in the comment section. Um, I, I really want to hear your thoughts on this because this is this is Time Magazine that, that did this article. But there's also other articles and other websites that dropped this news. I saw this first on Twitter. And then I went over to Google to do some more research. $15 million for the CFO. The CEO is making $40 million. Plus, plus raises and all of that, that kind of good stuff that he can give himself. I wonder how much the COO is making. Okay, the chief operating officer. I wonder how much these people are making. Vince McMahon probably doesn't even make this much, and he owns WWE. Triple H is only worth, what? He's the CFO of WWE, and he's only worth, I think, like $4 million. But he, he, he's, he's wrestled, and then he own, he's, he's part owner of NXT, um, and then Vince actually just, just sold his football league to The Rock and his ex-wife for $15 million. So The Rock out there hustling. I think that'll be a good move for them because The Rock is an ex-football player. So an ex-football player running a, uh, running a football league, I, I can't wait to see that. Y'all let me know in the comment section what you thought of this. Let me know, like, if, if, like, could you, could, I, after this, I don't even want to buy any more Blizzard products. Knowing that they don't treat their staff how their staff should be treated. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on this. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of this. I am, I'm baffled. I'm, and I'm not surprised because it's, it, this happens every day. Not with big, Target does it, Walmart does it, McDonald's does it, Best Buy does it. it it's, it's not surprising that the people that work the hardest to keep your company running, you're going to treat like crap. And I, and I, and I guarantee you... Blizzard, Blizzard uh, Studios or Blizzard Entertainment, they're not unionized. So even if the workers wanted to walk out, you know, it, it wouldn't make a difference. They'll just replace them. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about this. I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I, this just pissed me off. <laughs>